Good evening. Tonight we will be previewing the new, improved PlugShare.com, which has just been modified for use with the Tesla Model S. And as you can see, uh, that is a Tesla Model S in the background. What do we have here? Use the magnifying glass buttons on the map to zoom in and out. Log in, create plug share account, or skip reg registration. Well, we will be logging in. <clears throat> and uh, enjoy this little preview here of my car charging while I enter my username and password. No offense, people. And it's still in beta. And there we go. Let's see if it does a full screen too. Yep. looks like they have it San Francisco doesn't look like uh, it can tie into the uh, whoops cars GPS quite yet Let's see if I can put some other lights on That's not helping well let's do a search uh, you can see the sluggishness of the Tesla browser. Let's do um, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Enter. I can say at least the layout and everything is working much improved <coughs> over uh, what was. So, let's zoom out. If they could get this working with the uh, car's GPS, that would make this so much better. It will go faster if I do half screen. Oops, it breaks. Is charging right now. Oh yeah, much faster. We're doing now half screen. Uh, we'll leave it like this if you all don't mind. And that's MATC Technical College. That's the new charge point station that's in the. Actually, no, it's not a charge point. But it's a station that's in the Milwaukee General Mitchell International Airport. That one is. Wait a second, something's wrong. Okay, airport, there should be one across the street there. I think I'm just zoomed out too far. Let's see what this one is. I think that one should be MATC. Access is not restricted, you just need a charge point card. Although this station is probably the absolute worst one I've ever dealt with. Let's try. What's this one now? Fairfield Inn and Suites. Oh, that's a new one. That one literally is a brand new station. I'll have to check that out. I mean, that's had to be added within the last day or two. Uh, this one should be Rosen Nissan. Yep. And that one should be AAA Service Center. Yep. This is my favorite. And of course, oh, look it. I wonder who took those pictures. Oh, that's right, it was... Oh, no, I didn't take that one. Hey, someone deleted some of my pictures. Oh, there's my car. Yep, that's my car. That was the second day I owned my Model S. Go figure. Some of you remember my old uh, YouTube videos on that. Oh, there's my shadow. Oh, 
look at that. So shiny and new. Oh. Zooming's a little funky, yep. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm so used to doing the pinch to zoom. Oh, I wonder whose house that is. Oh! There we go. Oh, there's my phone number. Photos, I don't think I have any photos on there. This should be Gordy Bushaney's son. Yep. Yeah. Our card, Matt. Yep, Matt's home charger. Scott Marshall's auto body. Yep, there we go. Is it sad that I actually remember what each one of these stations are? I can do that probably for most of the ones in Wisconsin. Well, it's not perfect, it is a beta. And uh, now, if you type in uh, plugshare.com, it'll automatically take you to the Tesla plugshare page um, if you are doing it from a Tesla browser. Oh, that's my garage. Let's see what kind of goodies we got in there. 1000 watt inverter generator, a cabinet, a steel cabinet that will be housing. Uh, uh, adapters, extension cords, my welder, another generator, a tree stump, a busted up electric scooter, engine hoist. Right there, there's about 40 cases of motor oil, and I got another thousand cases at my shop. A homemade solar panel, a freezer. A dresser, sound system. Yeah, anyways, you guys aren't interested in that. Or are you? Be a little creepy. So, overall, do I think this will be somewhat more convenient? Yes. Um, without using, uh, without the GPS function built in um, to see where you are. There we go. You can select all the different styles. Oh, free stations only, hotels only, hide stations currently used, public, high plug score stations, fax feedback, log out, chat emo. They already got all the ones, they automatically selected the ones that are Tesla capable iPod wall charger, supercharger, J1772, and 1450. Of course, they skipped the 120. Uh, rarely do we ever use 120. But although Chademo will be coming soon for the Tesla Model S and Roadster. Uh. So, uh, useful, yes. Uh, if you have a, a smartphone, that might be a little more convenient. Um, probably be able to browse faster just the uh the tesla screen is just so laggy when browsing and doing maps and stuff it's insane such a powerful car i mean shoot uh my seven eight 2006 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 18 year old pos laptop can do these maps quicker well multitasking so i don't know why the screen is so slow. Personally, I think uh, Tesla should have went with the Intel Atom processor. Dual core, 1.6 gigahertz dual core, and I think they might have a dual core hyper threaded Atom, and it uses practically no power. So that's it for your te the Tesla plug share uh, beta test so far. Um, actually, it is open to the public, but it's in beta mode yet. They're still working on it. Um, so if they're listening, uh, PlugShare, uh, if you guys can figure out some way to tie it into the GPS of the car, um, I'm sure that, that would be absolutely awesome. Um, I'm sure you guys would have to contact Tesla to figure out a way to be able to actually do that. I'm sure something's locked out some way, somehow, until they release the dev kit for these cars. So, uh, 
that's it. Have a good night, everybody.